Hey guys, Bambier20 back again, and it's time for another Nintendo Switch eShop update. Make sure to check back tomorrow on Friday to see if any new games got released, because last week on Friday, Nintendo did in fact release three new games, and the first game on the list is Ultra Hyperball for $9.99. Now this is a weird action party type game and I'll be honest, the graphics are like 8-bit and washed out so it kind of threw me off. I did watch the trailer of it and still I don't know too much about this game, but all I can say is it's $9.99 and if this looks like a game for you, go ahead and download that. Next game on the list is Infinite Mini Golf for $14.99. So the title pretty much speaks for itself. It's an unlimited amount of the mini golf courses uh, where you can have tournaments, challenges, you can actually make your own courses and you know, share them with the community, so that's pretty cool. Um, mini golf is like, I called it putt-putt growing up as a kid, I still call it putt-putt, but I've never actually played a putt-putt style golf game. I have played golfing games in the past, but never had like a mini golf type game. So this game looks interesting, so $15, you can go ahead and download that. Um, last game we got on Friday was Namco Museum for $29.99. So for about $30, you can get all the old school classics like Galaga, Splatterhouse, Sky Kid, Rolling Thunder 1 and 2, Dig Dug, Tank Force, and of course, everyone's favorite, Pac-Man. So this is exclusively on the Nintendo Switch, so you might want to look into this for around $30. Okay, the games that we actually got this week are Strikers 1945 for Nintendo Switch, and this is $7.99, so that's actually the title for Nintendo Switch. I don't know why, why they had to throw that in there, but that's actually the title. This is basically an old Japanese game that has been revived and they brought it back from the dead and it's just a classic arcade shooter. So there's not much to talk about it, just one of those old school classic arcade shooters. I personally like those types of games, so if you like those games, you can go ahead and download this for about $8. Next game on the list is Puzzle Adventure Blockle for $7.99. So for about $8, you get this puzzle game where it's all about rotating the world to navigate through. So basically you got this world that's kind of shaped as a block and you got to rotate the world or the block, which is why this is called Adventure Blockle, to really navigate your way through. It's a really simplistic game. It's pretty simple, simple puzzle game. So if you like games like that for $8, you can go ahead and download that. Next game on the list is Retro City Rampage DX for $14.99. Now, out of all the games we got this week, this one actually interests me the most because it's an open world crime game that kind of really reminds me of like Grand Theft Auto, like Grand Theft Auto back in the 80s, 8-bit style. Like if you can think of that, that's what this game reminds me of. Um, you actually steal cars, you can go on like a rampage, get weapons, make the, you know, try to outrun the law, you know, the cops. There's a story mode, there's arcade challenges, um, there's the city is full of shops, um, there's a bunch of mini games, collectibles, and I don't know. For, you seems like you get a lot of gameplay here for $15. So out of all the games this week, that one to me is probably the one that like I would look into. Uh, next game on the list is Use Your Words for $14.99. This is one of those games that if you have a bunch of friends over or a bunch of family over, then like it's a perfect game to play because basically it's a game that you play on your TV. Well, obviously, but use your phone or tablet as the controller. And basically what happens is like, they'll show like an old like foreign film, but they'll have it muted and you have to like put in like the subtitles of what they're saying. And it's hilarious, it can be a lot of fun. Another thing, another um, example is they'll have like, you have to write your own clickbait like pictures, like they'll show a picture and you gotta like write like a thumbnail clickbait, kind of like, I don't know, like if a YouTuber was uploading a video trying to clickbait, which you guys know I don't do that. But uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a funny game that you can actually play with. You actually need a bunch of friends to play this though, so that's the thing. If you're a single guy or girl and you don't really have no one to play with, obviously you're gonna wanna pass on this. But if you got a bunch of friend family coming over, you can download this game for $15. Next game on the list is ACA Neo Geo Aerio Fighters 2 for $7.99. Not much to say about this game, it's just your classic vertical scrolling shoot 'em up game that was released in 1994. And it's just your classic arcade shooter. That's what this game is. Again, I love games like this, and that's that's what this is. Old school, you know, shooting game. Uh, next game on the list is Slime Sand for 
This is a really interesting game. Um, basically, you get eaten by this big giant worm, and the whole premise of this game is to actually try to get out of the belly, and you gotta try to like maneuver your way through. This game is a basically a fast-paced platforming game where like you're just the whole thing is you're trying to get out of this worm's belly through the entire game. But in order to do that, you're like avoiding like the stomach acid and a bunch of different obstacles, and it's really fast-paced. Got to use a lot of uh, quick reflexes and warning you probably will die a lot in this game but these games are meant to die a lot and it's fun and you got to pick up the rhythm you know i love platforming games so this one if you're interested in that you can download this for around 12 dollars last but not least on the list this week is gun barrage for nintendo switch 799 again that's actually the name they actually put for nintendo switch in the title and this game was uh, originally released in 2001, and now it's available on the Nintendo Switch. They kind of redid it. And this is like a Pong style game in, in pinball all wrapped in one. Like you got a ball and it's like, you got like little flippers on the bottom, like kind of like, you know, pinball. And you got to keep bouncing the ball up into the, you know, blocks. There's a lot of old games like this in the past. This is kind of like a unique one because you got like flippers, but if you like games like that, like a Pong slash pinball style type game, you can download this for about $8. That's pretty much all we got this week. We got a lot of games. It was a lot to go through. Like I said, make sure you check back tomorrow on Friday to see if new games do get released because they did release three new ones on Friday. The eShop update, the eShop updates every Thursday and they do sometimes add games on Friday. So you always do want to check back tomorrow. So pretty much all for right now, guys. Hope you enjoyed, you know, this eShop update. There was a lot to go through this week and there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again, guys.